hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking to find out the heat transfer rate here we have two different materials one is copper and one is aluminium both of the bars are connected to 100 degrees celsius and 0 degrees celsius one of the uh, cross sectional area is the copper bars cross sectional area is 10 centimeters square and uh, the cross sectional area of aluminium bar is 20 centimeters square right so whenever we have something like this, like before we know that previous video if you look at this uh, we had the same area cross sectional area so whenever we have same cross sectional area we just add the thermal conductivity values and multiply by a delta t over l right and uh, since we have two different areas we have to use a different equation the general equation for q dot is this one this is the main equation we are going to derive the new equation from this one this is k a delta t over l now let's see what's going to happen when we have two different materials and two different areas so we are going to have this equation that is q dot is equal to k c g u a1 right k thermal conductivity of this k c g u and a1 right and then plus k a l this is thermal conductivity of aluminium and the area of it so area of the aluminium bar is a2 and then others are going to be same delta t over l right now let's plug the values and see what we get k c u is 385 watts per meter kelvin times the area now here we had to put in terms of meter square so this is going to be 0 0.01 uh, 01 meter square plus aluminium's thermal conductivity is 205 watts per meter kelvin times so let's put the bracket right here so times area of the aluminium that is 0. 002 meter square and in the bottom we are going to have the length of this bar that is 1.2 meter and if you calculate this value you should get 66 watts and that's going to be the heat transfer rate we are going to get and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time